Badoog! Look, off she walks, innocently thinking that she's had a nice time where... Uh, yes. Don't let her see, Johnny. Don't let her see. This is all part of the act. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Ready to serve. Yeah. Hey, don't, where do you think you're going? Come back here. <laughs> don't run away from me. You see, the art of love, chapters 1 to 32, are all methods of how to find the perfect partner. Conventional methods. But at the very back page of the book, there is a slight, you know, very small appendix that should the previous 1 to 32 chapters leave you still without your ideal partner, then there is an underhanded tactic that is available to us all. Yes, Appendix 1 of Johnny's Art of Love book involves this little trick that he's about to pull. Ah! I want a wish, Jeannie. I want a wish for love. Yes, I do. The Love Doctor League. is going to pull out League. the secret yeah. weapon. And a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get to choose? Do I get to choose? I don't want to read the adventures of Raymond. Do I want my wish? What's happening? For God's sake, this has gone, gone right. No, no, don't go inside, don't go inside. No! What the hell fire's going on? Flirtatious oh. joke. Oh. Maybe we have to... Oh, Where's she going? Oh. Hello? Come back outside, you silly girl. Oh. Go away! You're shouting at... Okay, maybe we have to resort to conventional methods, eh? Oh, nice. Excellent. Where's my genie friend gone? What's it doing? Oh. Bit of a, a, bit of a game freeze here. Come on, there we go. Look at this, eh? And watch the stars. What a nice way to finish off the evening. Oh. Wait a minute. Let's try this again. What the hell? Hi. Stars? You like stars, Kerry? Oh, I mean, mm -hmm. she does. I she does. Of course she does. Who doesn't like stars, man? Come on, get a grip. See? She's excited as hell. Let's go watch those stars. Somewhere peacefully and quiet, but, you know, by the water fountain. That'd be a nice little location. Too many people screaming here. No? Right in the middle of the floor? Why not? Why not, indeed? So, there we go. The two uh, potential lovebirds. Watching the stars. Well, blow me sideways. Do I need this genie to achieve my wish of finding love? I'm the love doctor. Johnny Five Joe's author of Art of Love. I can do it without... Without the help of some plumbing scheme and plot, just my natural charm and ability in the art of love should uh, suffice, right? Look at him. Look at him, eh? Pointing at stars, a nice lunch at the coffee house, and now some, uh, some quiet time. Barring, of course, the fuss going on behind him. I don't know what these two are doing. She's off to do what? She's off to view something, and he is uh, playing pool. He loves his pool, doesn't he? Oh, is it? Oh, I haven't been here before. This place looks all right. Look at this. Water features. This is nice. It's pretty. There's not many people here. Let's see if she can uh, join the pool game. 
Of course, we know Ethan is a little bit of a pool shark, so I don't expect her to do very well, but uh, seeing as there's nothing else to keep us occupied in this yes. rather dull and uh, lifeless place, it... Oh, God, if this was full of sims, it would be awesome. Let's put some music on. Karaoke? A bar? Bar of foam. A great place to have a wedding reception, I feel. <laughs> Where's Maya going? She's going like the long way round. Look at it all, oh, little private club. Maybe nobody's exclusive enough to join us in this place. DJ booth. This place has got everything. Except people. <laughs> so, uh, right, I think we're going to go home, oh, to be honest with you. Come on. Oh, Johnny Five's just across the road, literally. Where is he? Where's Ke Where's Kerry? Have you left her hanging again? <sighs> Maybe he's just reading whilst contemplating what's happened today. He found himself a new friend. Tomorrow, we find something else, right? Ah. What is wrong with people out here? All they do is shout and moan. Goodness gracious. Okay, let's take him home. Strange day. Are they home yet? Yes, they are. And she's hit the gym straight away. Ethan? Sleeping like a celebrity. Maya feels like working out? Well, if she feels like working out, then hellfire, I will let her work out. Whoa, whoa, Although we're going to take her to bed at about half past twelve just so that she can catch up on her sleep pattern. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, Snowy. You missed us. <gasps> uh oh. Major scandal alert. It looks as though uh, Ethan and Maya's little escapades in the in the movie theatre might have been seen by some eagle eye member of the public, who unfortunately have gone to the press for the scoop. Well, that's the risk you got to take, I suppose. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh, come on, he oh. wants to say oh. hello. <laughs> oh. Hello, Snowy. Hey. There we go. Good boy. <laughs> Right, well, reinforcement, <laughs> nah. So, as the night draws to a close, look at it, I'm absolutely beat up. I am so tired. We're going to have to go to bed. Ooh, doggy toys all over the damn place. So we're going to use the toilet, and then we're going to go to bed. But no, we're going to go in that crappy old nasty bed that's hard on his... Well, he's a robot, he doesn't really care, but anyway, he deserves something a slightly... Uh, a little bit more luxurious, surely. So, bedroom department. The brass bed that lumpy, bumpy and just generally nasty is going to be replaced with a bed befitting of a superstar author. I don't like four posters, but this one here. The Duo Dreamer. Yes, that shall have us in the utmost comfort. Excellent. So Johnny Fang will go and try out his new bed. He's going to sink away into the luxurious soft pillows and ah, the mattress will just mold to your shape, enticing you into your slumber. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling tired right now just talking about it. Yes, no, you can't beat a comfy bed, I tell you. You cannot beat a comfy bed just sinking into it when you've had a long day at work. It's just that... That's you know that, that that's that sort of first ten seconds as you just relax into your bed, ah, the the world's troubles just whoosh, ease out of you. Beautiful, beautiful. There are a few feelings in life that are extremely relieving and pleasurable. <coughs> Having a drink when you are extremely thirsty. 
just the first couple of oh the first couple of gulps you can just ah oh, it's so refreshing so awesome when you're dying for the loo you're absolutely dying to the point that you're going to wee yourself the pain the pain the stomach ache and then you relieve yourself oh the, the, that split second that feeling ah and again when you fall into a bed a comfy bed after a long hard day that's the same feeling you get yes Anyway, enough about beds and sleeping. What am I doing? It's bloody five o'clock in the afternoon here. I really should be, I should be ready to go. Not, not craving the uh, lure of a comfy bed. So he has his bed to go to. Who is this downstairs? Who is he? Is he paparazzi? Yes. We don't care for you, thank you. If you care to move away from my house, before I set my dog on you, he won't bite you. No, he will just wee on you like he did last time. She wants to no. sing on the karaoke. Ha. Sa. <laughs> huh? What? You expect to be let inside? Jeep! Gala do? Huh? Once again! Once again, we are joined by our ghostly friends! Hello, Dad! Mikey Jones! Mikey Jones has come to visit us. Snow has peed himself. Because of the ghost, or because we were just desperate for the toilet anyway? <laughs> Hiya. Greet your father, please. Shoo, shoo, you see? She's talking again. Hey, Morrigan. Oh, do I know you? Maybe I should be impressed by you before I... She's just bloody daughter. It seems like being dead gives you amnesia. Uh, we have to impress him, right? Let's have a look. Let's try uh, talk about wealth. We were always rich. That should go down well. Rudy, hey, what's that too? New budget, gore, zebra. Richness, poor. <laughs> nope. Not bothered about riches. Who's playing the piano? Who's playing the guitar? Am I hearing things here? I heard a guitar being plucked. Excuse me. Oh, how dare he! Now the paparazzi guy is strumming one of my guitar. Holy, the gall of the man! Oh, his cards are marked, I tell you that. Utter cheek of it all. Anyway, let's continue to try and impress our father. Uh, how about, uh, let's talk about his medical career. Chug, de brazo, zudan hard, up florny, zart. <laughs> okay. Well, we can impress him, so we'll take a cell phone photo. And then hit the sack. Because surely what I've just witnessed is all the dream, right? Uh, oh. Well, seeing as uh, Ethan is in here, let's uh, sleep in here. Off she goes. Change of scenery. Is he actually good at is he actually uh, good at the guitar? We could have recruit him for our band if he is. I don't think so. Nah. Come on. Okay, we seem to have crashed. <sighs> Come on! Okay, I think I'm going to end it here, because uh, for some reason the game seems to have frozen on me, so I'll have to research what's going on and uh, sort it out. So join me next time, where we should continue to uh, love up Kerry, Kesmir with Johnny Five, and Myron and Ethan will continue to lounge about in their jobless state. See you then.